What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, not long ago, we saw Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford, do this to Kell Brook. Hit him with the right. That was, that was fast, man. I just realized how fast that was. Hit him with the right jab that knocked Kell Brook to the ropes. Cal, all days wobbly. Terrence Crawford went for the kill. Referee stepped in to count it as a knockdown. Crawford goes to the neutral corner. Referee decided to give Cal Brook uh, another chance. Cal Brook looked confused. He didn't know where he was. Referee decided to let the fight continue. Terrence Crawford went for the kill. Threw some big punches. That once again hurt Cal Brook. Big right hand followed with a bunch of lefts. Referee stepped in, stopped the fight, and Terrence Bud Crawford successfully defended his title, remaining one of the best fighters in the world today, keeping his undefeated record and successfully defending his title. Um, yeah, fight was shown live on ESPN, and fight was able to do more than 2.1 million views. Top Rank recently posted this uh, picture up, uh, or this uh, uh poster i guess you, you call it poster but anyway they posted this up and um the event the fight itself was able to peak at 2.1 million views uh second highest behind lomachenko versus lopez if you're wondering how much uh views uh the vasily lomachenko versus teofimo lopez did i believe it peaked at 2.9 2.9 million views for lomachenko versus lopez and um and yeah and this fight uh crawford brook was able to uh average around 1.7 million views which is not bad in my opinion um and apparently 1 million views average across seven espn saturday night broadcasts in 2020 um basically in my opinion i thought it was a successful uh, ratings event for ESPN and Top Rank. You know they did good numbers. They did good numbers. I think Kell Brook, uh, uh, Terence Crawford got paid like four million dollars in this fight. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I think Kell Brook got paid around two million. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, they got paid good money, especially for an event that had no spectators because uh, COVID coronavirus currently going on pandemic. If you guys didn't know. Um, yeah, they fought at the bubble over in Vegas. And, you know, for a successful event, after the fight, for some reason, Bob Arum this this Terrence Crawford. He talked bad about Terrence Crawford. Um, the Athletic uh, recently spoke to Bob Arum. Uh, if you want to see the article, just go to theathletic.com. Uh, you have to pay for the article, actually. I think it's like a dollar per week. But yeah, they spoke with Bob Arum, and Bob Arum said this about uh, Terrence Crawford. He said, and I quote, he said, He's got to promote like Lopez does, Shakur does, like, May like Mayweather did, Pacquiao did. If he doesn't, then who the fuck needs him? He may be the greatest fighter in the world, but hey, I ain't going bankrupt promoting him. And when Bob said this, I, w I was like, no way did Bob say that. Like, why is he talking shit about his fighter? <laughs> you know, I was like, yo, that's stupid of a promoter to talk shit about your fighter. And I was just thinking here, and I'm like, you know, Lopez, Shakur, Floyd, Pacquiao, you know, they're they're doing their thing. I mean... They're doing and Terence Crawford's doing his own thing as well. And I don't know, maybe because I know Terence Crawford, I feel like you know the, the promotion behind Terence Crawford ain't bad, in my opinion. I mean, the numbers speak for itself more than two million people at least tuned in to watch his fight against Kel Brook. So at least that tells me that you know there's a fan base out there that watches Terence Crawford. So I don't know. I, you know, Bob Arum, he's getting too old for this business, man. He needs to retire. But yeah, apparently, he, when he was asked about keeping K 
keeping uh, Terence Crawford, here's what he said too. He said, and I quote, said, the question is, do we want to keep him? I could build a house in Beverly Hills on the money I've lost on him in the last three fights. And I, I'm, I'm reading this and I'm like, e e what, Bob? Yo, Bob. Two million views, man. ESPN doing good numbers. I'm like, what's what's going on, Bob? What's going on? Um. Yeah, obviously there's some tension between Bob Arum and Terence Crawford. I mean, for Bob Arum to talk bad about your his own fighter, there's some tension. And if I remember, I I don't think I made a video about it, but I remember reading somewhere that uh, Terence Crawford is apparently frustrated with. Um, top rank and the fights that they've been giving him um, and I think he told his lawyer that and his lawyer approached top rank uh, telling top rank that he wants bigger, bigger better fights um, Terence Crawford has made it clear that he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao next who knows if top rank can deliver uh, yeah it's, uh, it looks like Terence Crawford might be leaving Top rank. I think his contract expires next year, October 2021. So maybe that's why. And I think Bob Iron knows that he's not sticking with him. So that's why Bob Iron is probably talking shit about him at this point. But then again, you know, Top Rank posted this up. Top Rank themselves posted this up, highlighting how successful the event was. So, you know, when it comes to Top Rank and Bob Iron, I mean, and ESPN also, because ESPN and Top Rank, they're promoting Terrence Crawford like he's the number one pound for pound, which, you know, he is one of the top best fighters out there in the world today. Top three, in my opinion. Number two in my list for pound for pound. But the head of Top Rank, Bob Byram, you know, is talking shit about him. So, uh, <laughs> you know, while Top Rank themselves and ESPN is talking Really good stuff about Terence Crawford. I mean, if after what Bob Arum said, Terence Crawford better not stick with Top Rank. You know, after what he said about how much he's lost money and how much he's going bankrupt promoting him, like Bob Arum needs to do his job because you're you're called the promoter for a reason, right? You should be promoting Terence Crawford. Why? Like, what's the point of hiring you to promote Terence Crawford if, if you, uh, you know, you're not doing your job right? You're called a promoter for a reason, Bob. Come on, man. You've been in this game way too long, I guess. So. Yeah, I think it's time for Terrence to do what Canelo recently did. Be his own boss. You know? Be his own boss. Work with other promoters on a fight-by-fight -fight basis. Not necessarily sign with them. Or he could, I mean, Eddie Hearn, I'm sure, would be willing to pay him big, big money to fight exclusively on the zone. Because uh, apparently Eddie Hearn has uh, stated that uh, it's... Bob Arum's comments uh, are pretty disrespectful towards um, Terence Crawford. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts about the views, good, bad, horrible. What? Let me know what you guys think about Bob Arum's comments. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Do not forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.